Now, um, we're recording this uh, at the beginning of October, and as the autumnal weather starts to bite, what many people want to do is to, to go to a coffee shop and order a coffee, you know, some sort of pumpkin spiced latte, for example, and perhaps some sort of snack to go along with it, something equally autumnal, um, perhaps uh, a donut. And of course, on the donut, you have, you know, some fondant. And um, if you ask very nicely in the spookiest of shops, sometimes they'll add an extra bit of fondant. And if you're very good, you can have a number of those fondant layers of fear. Ah. I didn't want to go forward in case it did something and then I interrupted you with a squeaker. So welcome back. We're um, munching our way through more layers of fear. More donuts of fear. Oh, this is wonderfully lit. Yes, we're now downstairs, so we were on the, the top area. Came down the stairs. Does this work? Yes. That barely does anything, game. Also, if by wonderfully lit you meant woefully lit. Well, because I like the like atmospheric candles. Very cool. Candle at the library, sure. Yeah. No? No, no. No? No, no. I'm not sure what the photo is. You can't quite make it out. Yeah, because I'm like, if I go over here, I'll be much further away. It's three people standing next to each other. It's like you suspect that a lot of the stuff that's just around is just for the sake of there being lots of stuff around, and it doesn't really have any greater meaning. I suppose, yes. What a wonderful swirly light. Also, this was one of their earlier games, like before they did Observer and... I know they've made this before Layers of Fear 2. Yes. Well, they've just announced that they're doing... I've got to stop turning. Is it kind of... Oh, that's a backwards ringing phone. Hopefully this isn't too distracting. They've just announced they're doing a new one. I suppose we could always play more of them. Yeah, it's around here. I can hear it. Strange effect. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely. Definitely repeaty corridor. This is a rotary telephone. Yeah. Which was the style at the time. I just keep going. thinking like am I supposed to walk the other way because we keep seeing it in reverse that's um give it a go okay yeah Keep going, maybe we can get down the stairs and pick it up again. Yes. Hello? Yes, speak. What? 
What? What fire? Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. Yeah. Yes, we found the clip earlier that she'd um, been hospitalised in a... Some sort of burnination accident. Department stuff. Yeah. So do I now keep going this way? Do I go the other way? Is it Bloober Team? Yes. Okay, we're at a door. And open the door. Ooh. Restless memories. That was certainly something. Do I want to go in? Oh, the room is upside down. Oh, that's clever. It's like his world's been turned upside, upside down. down. It's like a metaphor. So actually they've made loads of games, but I think this was their first sort of independent -y one. And then Observer, Layers of Fear 2, they made that Blair Witch one. Oh. And then they made the Medium. I can't read what that says. Something Thoughts? I'm supposed to do is the problem. Oh. Examine that. Flapping horror, be quiet. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. The rat wings. Or a bat, as they're often known. And it said it sort of, he started like. It sort of implies that they're auditory hallucinations. Yes, admittedly. Someone is not is seeing things they're not that aren't there, perhaps. I don't think there's much use just rubbing against the um yeah. if it's if it's so dark that you can't read it, perhaps it's not supposed to be read. I'm just like, do I just go now? Maybe. Do I be in here and shut the door, maybe? No? Well, I can, apparently. Oh, and now the door handle is gone. Is it? Oh, no. I can't tell. It's too dark. Well, and if anyone's screaming at their uh, device right now and going, then turn up the brightness. No! If the game wants to be seen, it should put things in reasonable brightness levels. In that dark shadow... Oh, sorry, there's a light switch. Oh, well, that worked. <laughs> ah. So it was not... You weren't supposed to be able to see. Although, where's that writing gone? Um, it was like... On... Yeah, it'll be... It's like on the... Nearer the top level now. Yeah, I think it was on this section. But it's not there anymore. Okay. Have a quick look around. 
Everything seems normal again. Documents. Whatever you call those rolled up bits. The room through there, that window that has rain on it. Mm-hmm. It's brushes and... Lots uh, of wine. Medals from his famous brushes and medals collection. <laughs> are a bit rotten looking though. A chandelier or a table. Oh dear. I'm seeing a lot of bottles. Yeah. An alcoholic, I suppose. I got that impression, yeah. It's it's not been very subtle, to be fair. No. Shut the door. That's elevator safety. Okay. Sometimes things don't need subtlety. The no, youth prefer strong so. flavours. <laughs> Do they? Well, I can go either way. What do you think? Is that on? I don't know. I'm gonna go right. Right does nothing. Left. Left does something. She chills down. Did we see any strange sightings? Not this time. Down exactly one floor? Yeah, we didn't even go very far. Oh, this doesn't look inviting at all. Their interior decorator should be fired. <laughs> In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your door... Oh, and it actually just cuts off there. Like... It doesn't go door and then the piece of paper is ripped around the t. Because mm. so, obviously that's his daughter. Husband in mourning, so the wife didn't make it. But we do have a child. One that they're trying to take off. Social services have been involved. Mm. The floor is incredibly crusty and crispy and creaky. And crunchy. Is this back in the cellar? I don't know. Oh. That's 
All right, friends. Got a light switch or anything? No, but it gets right around the corner, so it's probably okay. That floor doesn't look stable. Little. You want a drink? Is it, is it red by any chance? It doesn't look like water. No, it does not. You can't really see a colour. But it could be wine. Hmm. Ah. There could be someone there. Am I going to be terrified? Maybe. Just don't look. Just, no, I'm going to look. I have to look. Okay. Because that's what you want from a horror game. You don't want to look and you have to look. Is that to break through the barrier? An ominous looking bathtub in there. Yes, it is. Okay. Someone was clearly washing their doll. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Fur in the water. No baths for me. Mm. It's not a classic rock song, anyway. I don't know. Uh, in the water. Watch, flush. Doesn't do anything. There's the sink taps. Yeah, I'm just checking. I haven't missed anything. No plug, but, you know. Okay, let's get out of here. I was a bit suspicious that the door shut behind us. Okay, we're back where we were, though. I think the house is just efficient. <laughs> More dilapidated areas. Is it as on as the light's going to be, apparently? Totally pick up the candle is the thing. Oh, not as bad as the second Amnesia game. <laughs> where it's like you'd absolutely pick up some of these light sources and take them with you. Oh, there's a latch. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's just where we store our shelves. Right? Sure. I'm not locking it. Brave, are we? Should I lock it? I don't know. Can't. No, I cannot. I unlocked the door. Are the switches for the rooms you're opening? Oh, yes. You might want to have a look at the other one then. Because I couldn't tell if you were turning them on or off. 
Right. So you did turn it on. Okay. Oh, I thought it was turning the corridor on because if you it, uh, like, you can see the light on the door handle. Yeah. But I guess that's just because it's uh, not working as well as it could maybe. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. Ugh. Guess we thought we were, were being eaten, so we were... It sounds like we were sort of hurting ourselves. And see why our lawyer was maybe saying we have to... We have to keep calm, not seem crazy, keep a low profile. This is where I keep my tiny, tiny bricks. The smallest bricks ever. <laughs> I also keep another collection of tiny, <laughs> tiny bricks here. Bricks which are like a little bigger than Lego. How small are those bricks? Admittedly, that would have been monstrous to tile or brick or... Oh. This is where I keep my candle collection. Oh, oh, oh. That's... Very confusing looking. We're fine. Things are evening out. Is there a doll here? I can't see it. Oh, yes. Oh, that goes down, doesn't it? I think so. It's difficult to see. That helps. I do like our clunk clunk down the stairs. We've got a slightly uneven pace. This feels more basementy. And, you know, terrifying. Everything's terrifying, though. Hmm. Is this like a cellar? Basement-y style area? I guess. I suppose that, as you've pointed out before, the, the architecture doesn't make a lot of sense, deliberately. No. So, I mean, I wouldn't care how cursed it was. This this real estate's enormous. <laughs> Let's uh, play the piano for a second time. Wow, we're awful. <laughs> SV underscore gravity minus one. So we've got no gravity anymore. Oh! It's a pretty effect in a way. What I always find interesting about horror games that do this sort of thing where they just go, no, it's just weird. Yeah. And it's like, that's probably more interesting than the oogity boogity stuff. Are you sure it wants me to go? I'll see ya. Oh. Maybe back into the room with the piano? Definitely not. Well, maybe. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Colour they call bone white. 
Yes. Oh, I cannot see where I am anymore. There we go. Also, I thought it was funny that it's like, then, then I got a mortar, but I didn't have a mortar. I'd only done this before. Yeah, because that's what mortars are for. They're only for grinding bone, nothing else. They're not used in the kitchen for making pesto. I suppose you presume he wasn't doing any cooking. He may have had cookery staff or... He had a fully stocked kitchen. They live in a time where chemists have mortars. Fully stocked kitchen. Yes, that extra bone white. Let's get out of here. And we are back in the studio somehow. Looks very different again. We've got our chair back. But our floor's way more damaged. And I'm assuming we'll find a, a new cupboard with our friend Bonathan. I think we have to do the painting first before the cupboard does the thing. Getting our notes that we've been collecting on the wall. Yeah. It's quite the collection. But it might be time to add another layer of fear. Can you see a fish? A fish? Yeah. There's the fins. Or rather the tail, and that's the side fin. Oh, yeah. And there's the head. I was resolving that into a badly drawn figure. Mm. Do you want to bring up the... I hate even now, lost, alone, hopeless. You always will be. A grotesque misunderstanding. Finish it. Yes, we have flesh, blood, bone. What's next? Sinew? Three to go. One of these better not be poop. What if you fail? It's a weird way to do a picture though, to like do a picture and then paint another one over the top of it and then paint another completely different one over the top of it and all grotesque. I mean, uh, oh. Oh, that was very, uh, walked across our field of vision. There's a whole figure there. It is very sort of oil painting to do sort of underpaintings and overpaintings. Ignore her. And to be fair, canvases are expensive then now and now. Mm. So yes, if you're you're done something, you do just paint over it with something else. Digital canvas is quite cheap. Admittedly. So she went in there. She did. Ooh. Is it like fabric? Yeah. Cool. I don't really know that I want to go in, but... You might not even be able to. Feathers? Yeah, it's sort of, is it tar or fabric or feathers or... I ignore Hmm. It's a broken heart specifically. The daughter over there. Mum and Dad. Ah. Maybe that's why the bricks were so tiny. <laughs> the horse. Good telltale heart signs though. Perilous. No. Pelerous. Delirious? Delirious? Delirious. Thank you. Drunk. Selfish. 
push that side and shut it quite quickly. Oh, the doll's gone. That doll's ah. gone. Isn't that doll's gone. House. <laughs> um. Horse murder. You're still there. I was wondering whether the. <laughs> it's like, where's the murderer gone? The horse die in the fire? Certainly very death in the fiery. All the drawings are gone now as well. Let me get out of this terrifying room. Well, all the drawings are gone. There's a bear ahead, but we're going to leave that until next time. We'll see you then.